Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the TikTok Pixel through Google Tag Manager and also show you not only how to install the base code, but also how to set up events like tracking leads or specific actions you want people to take on your website. So let's just jump right into this. The first thing you will need to make sure you have is a TikTok ads account. If you don't, check out the link down below. You can sign up and get an account. Once you sign up for your account, you'll be taken to the TikTok ads manager. This is where you can access the area to create your Pixel. So if you come over here to tools, you come over to events manager. Events Manager is what we're looking for. Now, this is a demo account, so I have lots of different pixels just randomly set up inside of here. So you can see there's some on the right-hand side here, but chances are you're gonna see either a button in the middle here or this button right here that says Connect Data Source to create basically a new TikTok pixel code that then you can install through Google Tag Manager. So we're gonna hit Connect Data Source here. It's then going to ask which type we want. For most people watching this video, my guess is you are in the web category because you're wanting to install this through Google Tag Manager. So we're gonna choose web here and then we're gonna hit next. For next, we need to add our website. So I'm just gonna come over here and grab this real quick. So put your website in here and then you can hit next. And then next it's going to ask for the partners that you'd like to use and you'll be tempted here. You'll notice here that this says Google Tag Manager and a lot of people will click in this and they'll go into the Google Tag Manager route and they'll find that it's just not very uh, useful to go through their partner integration. I prefer to do the manual setup. If you wanna go the partner integration way and figure that out, you can, but the manual setup I, is way easier. I don't know why, but it just is. So, and then here it's going to ask for a couple of different events. For most people, you're gonna want the TikTok Pixel. That's just the standard Pixel event that allows you to track a page view and then uh, add to cart or add to carts or leads or anything like that. You can see right here, the great thing about this is all you need to do is copy and paste code into the HTML header, which we're gonna do through Google Tag Manager. If you wanna go the uh, events API, you will need developer resources to implement those. So most people are gonna go with the TikTok pixel. We're gonna hit next here. And then we're going to name our pixel. So we're going to call this uh, demo one because uh, this is a demo pixel here. And then we're gonna hit create. For you, I'd probably recommend naming this your website there. Next, we want to add the base code here. So this is where we're going to copy the code right here. And then we're going to come back over to Google Tag Manager. I'm already assuming that you have Google Tag Manager created. If not, go through and create a Google Tag Manager account and then make sure that the code is installed on your website. So you will need to copy and paste these codes onto your website. But if you're on this tutorial, my guess is you already have Google Tag Manager. We're gonna come over here to the tags. And then in here, we are going to create a new tag and I'm gonna call this just uh, TikTok Pixel. I like to call this just like the base tag. You can call this whatever you want, base or uh, page view. And then here we are going to select the custom HTML and then paste that in there. And then for the trigger, we are going to choose the all pages right there and then save that. From here, you can submit this so it does go live so we can verify that it is working. So we're gonna hit continue here. You can add it and give it a name if you'd like to. Oh, and I realize I'm in the way here, but in the top right hand corner is where that publishes. You probably are aware of that. And then now that is good to go. So what we can do is come back over to our events manager and we can hit next here and then we can actually manage the configuration. Now there's a couple different settings here. It does recommend that you do the enable automatic advanced matching. This is going to basically take some data and pass it into Google Tag Manager for advanced matching. Uh, most people I'd recommend checking this, uh, checking this box on. If you wanted to check with your legal team or with your privacy policy, you could do that. But for most people, you're gonna wanna leave that on. And then down here as well, this is a, a newer feature for uh, the TikTok Pixel. You can allow automatic event setup. You can see this lets the TikTok Pixel automatically de de detect reports, events, like buttons on your website. So I do recommend just turning this on because it will collect data on the background. And then later on, if you wanna use that data, you can. But also uh, in, in tandem with turning that on, I would recommend creating a specific event for what you're wanting to track. In this case, I'll show you how to track a lead. So we're gonna turn both of those on and then you can, I would leave both of these on as well and then hit next here. And then it's going to ask for the setup events. This is a nice little tool. If you're familiar with Facebook uh, and setting up the pixel on Facebook, I think they copied this from Facebook because it's very similar, but you can launch the event builder that is just like a way to click and track events on your website. So you wanna put your website in here and you want to launch the event. And then what it's going to do is it's gonna pull this up and then in this left-hand corner here, you can see there's this little event builder uh, where you can track specific things. So you can see right now it's already detected a submit button on this page. So if I scroll down here, there's a submit button. It's saying, hey, you should create a lead if somebody clicks this submit button. So that's how you could track one of those leads. And so all I could, all I could do is I could, all I'd have to do is hit add event and then I could do a button click here and then I could scroll down and then the submit button right there, I click on that. And then if the button text uh, equals submit and somebody clicks on that, it will fire an event and hit next. Now, if you wanted to go that route, you could to submit a, a an event. Another way that you could do it is you could also track, you saw there by a, let me just do another one here. If I go back here and I hit cancel, I could do URL visit. So instead of going here to a specific button click, if I go and I fill out the form right here, 
let's say if I go and say test, let's fill this out real quick. Let me fill out the form and go to the thank you page. So say that I didn't want to just track a submit button. We're going to submit the lead here. It's going to take us to our thank you page. So then now we're on a thank you page and then the event builder will still pop up. And then instead of going on the button click, we could track the actual page. So you can see here now it's saying track this as a specific event and it's saying it wants it to be the purchase, but I don't want that to be a purchase. I want it to be a lead. So I'm going to actually add event and then we're going to URL visits next. And then we want the setup tool. We want this to be a lead. Oops, not a place hold, place order. We want this to be a lead here. And then for the parameters, URL contains one of these and you can see we can just grab our thank you page and put that in there. And then you can choose a value if you wanted to, or you can not include a value because it's a lead. And then all of these different settings, I would leave these non applicable here, but you can customize some of them and then you can create that event there. And then you can see now when somebody comes to this event right here, it will fire a lead. And I'll show you how to verify this in a minute too, to make sure everything's firing correctly. But we're going to hit finish setup here. Actually, before we hit finish setup, one other thing is you could also click track a button click as well, like a call now button if you wanted to do that. Uh, but it all just from this little event builder tool. So we're gonna hit finish setup here now, exit now, and then hit next here. And then from this last part is where we can actually verify the pixel setup. So there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either test events directly or you can do the uh, pixel uh, Chrome help, the Chrome extension. I have the Chrome extension, I like to use it, but for this example, we'll use the test events center. So you can see this will take you to a view that looks like this, where we are once again going to grab our website here and plug it in and it will tell us what events fire where. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna open up our website. It will open up your website in a new tab right here. And then in this view right here, it will start showing you some of the recent activity. So we'll give this just a second and make sure that is connected here. And you can see here for whatever reason, the test event, usually a, a page view should be setting up here. And this is why I prefer the actual using the Chrome extension. So you can see you can do the Chrome extension and download this because when I come to this page, you can see the test is currently firing, but it's not showing me any data showing up here. But when I look at the actual pixel helper and I click this little button button up here with the pixel helper, after you install that, you can see the page view event fired and that is working. So now I'm just going to go through this and uh, submit the lead. So you can see that that fires as well. So we're going to do this real quick. So now let's make sure it fires on that after we filled out this form that fires the lead event here. So we're submitting, it submitted this. So we're gonna come back over to our pixel helper and you can see there is our successful page view and also the lead firing in there. And if we come back over to the uh, pixel helper, let's see, it's set. So now it's starting to work. It's starting to fire those events. You can see the submitted form lead did fire in there and we are good to go. So the last thing that you wanna make sure that you do is come back over here and publish this. Oh, we already did publish those. So you're good to go. And then we can come over here and we can hit finish setup. And if you wanted to see what events are tracking and uh, look at this in real time as leads start to come in, typically you want to take, give it a little bit of time, but you can see it will drop you into a view like this where you can see the page views that are coming in. You can see the data coming in here and then also the submit lead form in inside of here. You can test those events and do a diagnostics in here as well. But this is where all that data will start collecting inside of the TikTok pixel, which is in the tools and then the event center. So that's all there is to it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe on the way out. And if you're ready to start running TikTok ads, be sure to check out this tutorial to move on to the next step to start getting data for this TikTok pixel. We'll see you in the next one.